<laughs> he ain't gonna fall for it. Nah, that's a good one, I believe. Up. All right, Dad's got him a jug down there. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Adventure Archaeology. I've got the crew with me today. We've done lost a few of them that had to dip out earlier, but we are way out in the middle of nowhere and it's a little bit hot. But I've got to tell you, Randy just made an awesome find that I can't wait to show y'all in the video. It's been a long time coming, Randy. Oh, yeah. And there was two of them side by side. That's even better. I know. So I like that part without any further ado, let's go jump in a hole and go see what we can dig up. It is a 1515, huh? Yeah, you care about Got a hill trip. Was it Birmingham? Yep. Birmingham 1915. First bottle of the day, guys. We've got a T-shaped hole going on right here. And the reason for that is we're putting a big sample in. On the other side of them, you got Mike and Aaron. And what our plan is is to join our holes all together and have one huge trough right here. Get a good sample size. You got a light bulb? That means you got a good idea. What's a good idea? <laughs> oh, oh well, then it's not a good idea so we're getting close to hopefully finding some bottles got dad out with me today got randy we've got a couple of guys that have never been in the videos y'all say hello to john craig made a brief appearance in a video here recently and y'all have met mike and aaron already as mentioned a while ago so what you got there stem piece that is different we found a few shoe boxes and some salad dressings and I just pulled part of a straight side coke out before he pulled that 1915 so we're definitely on them we'll get back to you when we find something cool these guys have been killing us on relics Aaron just pulled out a beautiful miners tag we always love finding these I know you've seen us find them in the past but most of the towns that we're digging in were supported by either red ore or black coal mines all right so we're on the bottles we're on the relics we're moving forward got a decent sized hole going over here we got one over here the goal is where randy's standing at for this whole bit of dirt right here to be moved before we leave all on the bottom layer of the dump this right here though would have been what a lantern wick would have ran through sometimes you can get the maker's mark off those this one's pretty corroded we'll have to clean it up and find out hey. all right dad's got one you got one too hey let's see what randy's is because it looks like a soda broke off the top oh the top snap mid script good though is it the macon georgia one that'll be an amazing whiskey glass oh it's not chipped at the top that's warp from the fire hey, so it's whole that's like our combo good look at that that shit mid script yeah. macon georgia backwards in yeah the backwards in oh, really yeah we oh, wow. we dug one of those last time we were here yeah. let me get a close-up of it once you get the water poured out dad let's see what yours is while he's pouring the water out be embossed no. other side no. Oh, slick on that one. Let's get a close up of that one, Randy. Yeah, see, see the warp. That's not a chip neck. That's a warp neck <laughs> from the fire. But, but check it out. Oh, absolutely, it's whole. That warp neck just gives it a little bit more story. That's awesome. Congratulations, Randy. Dad just pulled this Raola out right here. It is snapping half. But look, that's going to be an awesome double shot whiskey glass. And this thing is super strong on the embossing. We'll take that for sure. All right, Dad's got him one showing down there. Show us what you got, Dad. Yeah, don't know. We'll find out. Let's see here. Looks like a good soda. Crown top, straight side coat, maybe? Crown top. Yep. Can you tell what it says? Shoulder screw. It is a straight side coat. Birmingham. Straight side coat from Birmingham. We'll yep. take it. Here you go probably been six months since you dug one yep it is it's too. oh that's the nice hill script one that's the beautiful aqua yeah, variant anymore. that's the oh, beautiful yeah, aqua variant that. root version but bury that back in the dirt real quick before it cracks on you <laughs> those are that bag glass if they get too warm they crack so you're gonna put it over there and cover it up we're still oh, digging look. bottles i like the way the cock rounded on it a little bit oh yeah a nice a little. little flask corker pre-prohibition at least 100 years old. It's right where we want it to be. We'll take it. All right. Brandon. Dad's got one. Got Randy's got one. You got a hutch? I got a hutch. Dad, yeah. what's yours? I'll take over. You can go ahead. Yes, <laughs> <He's> <laughs> hey, hey. Relief time. Get up. Right hey, now, I'll you this Coca-Cola straight side before you dig <laughs> anymore. Let me I'll see. Let me see your straight side. All oh, the back's out on it. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was an alicola. That yeah, was a straight side. Alicola. alicola. All right, slow down. There's another one right beside him. I know. He's got a whole row of them. It sounds yeah. like. Let it's me go to the other side right. where y'all can see. So ain't it when you find one, you gotta get out. <laughs> if you get a pocket, I guess we can let him get away with it. Easy on the top. That was Brandon. There you go. Let's see. He's got a good hutch down there. Pratt City. I hope you get you an Indian, Randy. Man, I was. That'll make sure. I dug a burnt one and then. Clayton got in the hole. And dug that short one. Crap. And I I, hey, keep oh, that good for you, man. Keep, keep his attention. I think I can slip it out of there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's looking up. You're a little anxious, are you? They have been known to fall asleep. That's the long one, right? It is long. Oh, man. I think it's an eagle. Oh, man. It ain't no good. It's got a crack. Here you go. I'll take over. <laughs> he ain't going to fall for it. Nah, that's a good one, I believe. No, it is Indian. Indian. Right. Hey, Indian. Right. <laughs> Heck yeah, buddy. Oh, well, yeah, you guys come out of there now. <laughs> wow. Look at that. He got a tall Indian. Cover it up where it won't crack. It won't crack. It's a good glass. Oh, okay, cool. Man, that's a pretty one. No stop. There you go. You. Randy, that's a heck of a good hutch to dig right there, yes, buddy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Spin it around just a little bit. That's a good one. Well, I was handing it up. But... Oh. <laughs> Put it somewhere nice gotcha. and shiny. Just right. throw it, Eddie. Get that out of the way. Another one, there, brother. Another one right beside it. Oh. Another one right beside it. He's going to find twins. He probably will. He's going to find twins. Send a picture of that to Clayton. I will. Clayton's going to pass out. He's up in Nashville this weekend. <laughs> Tristan's in Oklahoma. He may turn around and come back. Wait a second. That is another hutch. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's another one. Yeah, I see how they basically. I'll bet you got two Indians laying two side Indians. by side. Holy mackerel. Jesus. No, it's Alabama. No. Oh, Alabama. thank God. I was about to say. No, I'm scared. <laughs> you got two hutches out of the same little pocket. Okay, Randy, time to relax. Get up. Wow, look at that. Does this one need to cool off? Yeah, that one will crack. This one won't. Dude, that's awesome, man. Congratulations. Here, put it right over here. Guys, we're having a great day so far. We've got straight side cokes, we got hutches, and we got this. Hey, get Randy out of that tree. He got so excited he climbed that tree. He's just scouting for the next yeah. hole. <laughs> we did mess with him. There was a half a hutch laying there while he was still in the hole. I picked the half of the hutch up that Mike and Mike said, Hey, tease him and tell him that it broke in half. And we held it up. We're like, Oh my God, Randy, the bottom fell out of that Indian. <laughs> yeah, that we held that up. He was like, Wait a second. <laughs> we just picked this up though out of the bottom. Dad did. I believe this is a salt shaker. You can tell that it has a. Oh, you did? Oh, John picked it up. Oriental. That's pretty cool right there. It's probably real gold gilled that you see behind it. All right, Dad's got him a jug down there. What does it say on it? Number three? Oh, it is. But it looks like an eight. Does it got a blue line all the way around it? No. It's just like a mold mark. At the top, up over above the eight. The back is out of it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it might be, there might be like, there's something right there. Look at that color. Boy, that would have been a beautiful jug. Oh, that's a weird two-tone jug. Dang. I'd have liked to have seen that one hole. Yeah. Just because it it's... It looks like an eight to me. Might be a three. It does look like an eight. No, I think that's just a bad spot in the glaze. Dang. Another crown top. Yeah, I had over the side down. Just pulled my first whole soda of the day. Look how bad it's warped. You saw the hutches though. The hutches survive in here and so do the jugs usually. But these crown tops, it's like tossing up a coin on whether or not it's gonna make it. This one cracked too many times. So I can't even tumble it even though it's warped. That's all right though. We're getting on down there. So I dug this up and it looks like a tin jar, but I had an idea of what it was. Then right behind me, John got into the hole and he dug the remainder to it, which is right here. So that would have been a carbide miner's lamp. And that is a pretty cool Bottom relic. On on it's got a hook on the back yeah, of it right there. That went to a, like a ball cap. So that would have hooked on a miner's helmet or whatever they wore back then. Yep. That's pretty cool right there, guys. The whole thing is there and definitely worth keeping. He's got the touch. I thought this was metal. I think it is too. Oh. It says something. Ooh, I don't know what that says. It's backwards. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll let y'all take a look at it, but everything's inverse. That's kind of weird. 
All right, Randy just pulled this out. Check that oh, out right there. Down. That is a melted swamp root kidney cure bottle. Oh, I wonder why we didn't been finding any. That's Man, neat. it's super warped, but it is complete. Oh, what you got, a flask? Anything on the other side? No, sir, she's a slick. Slick. Oh. There it comes. Slick Willie. That's all right. They're still in I like here. That swamp root melted, though. That's neat. You that is. That. Yeah, that's really neat, Randy. Aaron, it's your turn. Don't let us down. <sighs> got to have something good. It's whole. Yeah, garbage. Is it a big slick. Listerine? It's a big slick. You know what, though? Sometimes that's all it takes to break the ice. Yeah. Look at that huge tree behind him, guys. <laughs> We're dead center of about a hundred and, I don't know, what do y'all think, 50-year-old tree? Yeah, it's probably been dead 50 years. Yeah, it's been dead for a long time. We're hoping that if we go up underneath it, the good stuff will still be there. We got a marble. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful Bennington. You know what, my cheap sunglasses. Oh, man, look at that thing. Gorgeous. We'll take that all day long. Definitely my find of the day. Nobody's been able to keep up with Randy yet. Randy, show us another hutch, please. As soon as I find it, y'all can I asked right, nicely. <laughs> we'll take the good marble meanwhile. All right. We've got a nice foxhole going right here. And Aaron just scored his second miner's tag of the day. This one, you can see the lettering 332? 33? 332 or 330. Heck yeah, we'll take that. We're trying not to get burnt out. We've got down here and it got really slow, but that's usually when you find something good is when you sit there and go, you know what, I'm not gonna find anything and then something great pops out. So, Randy, it can't be yours though. You've already got the two hutches of the day. I got the shovel too. <laughs> He's saying that we're not digging any of this hole. He dug the whole thing by himself. That's right. <laughs> Massive hole. Just got this nice whiskey glass can at Alabama Bottling Company. It does have the pictorial eagle on the back is a little bit weaker on the embossing. That's all right. It's worth keeping. We'll definitely take this out of here with us today. Guys, we hope that y'all enjoyed today's adventure. I want to ask a big favor of y'all, though. We just launched our website officially. It's adventurearchaeology.com. Be sure to go over there and check it out. We've got some cool stuff for you to look at over there. Our most recent videos, our eBay listings, T-shirts, an about section, and an how-to section all combined into one easy area for you to find it. So please go over there and show us support. Give us a follow if you're not following us on Facebook, as well as if you're not subscribed on YouTube, do that too, please. And we will catch you guys in the next adventure.